The GAN Air SM and Axis Wheel of Time are both cool puzzles in different ways. Let's unbox them. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Today I have an unboxing of the Moyu Axis Wheel of Time and the GAN Air SM. So, this is from CubeZZ. This is my first time ever ordering from CubeZZ, and I, I'm pretty sure it's like my first time ordering from a, a cubing store that's not Lytake or the Cubicle. So, um, okay, let's open up this package. So, the uh, Axis Wheel of Time is a non WCA puzzle that I'm expecting to be quite challenging to solve. The GAN Air SM is a 3x3 that will become my new main, and my first new 3x3 main in a very long time. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Fisher Cube. This- <laughs> CubeZZ did a great job making this like really compact into a tiny little box. Okay, so they come together, that's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna do... Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do this first, and I got it in white. Oh yeah, okay, I guess I got it in white. Okay. So this, I don't have the regular Wheel of Time or the Fisher Wheel of Time. I do have the regular Axis Cube, though. I really like this blue. And here, just let me see. Yeah, 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 the shades on this are really nice. Mm. I don't know what other puzzle uses this, but yeah, these are nice shades. Okay, here's the puzzle. So, hmm. Uh, is that a crack right there? Oh, okay, no, it's not a crack. All the pieces have that. It's just a seam, so it's just not very well made in that regard. Um, how big is it? Is it here's my 62 millimeter. Uh, Wucha. It's a little bigger than that. So maybe like the size of a 5x5. Five five. So, uh, let's do first turns. What kind of turn should we do first? I'm gonna do this turn first. It feels really sandy, but it seems like something that would get better with breaking in. Uh, okay, so now this turn. Okay, this turn's a lot better than the wheels do. So you can do moves like, um, here. So you can do like, so it's three layers here. It's basically, okay, so if you don't know what the Wheel of Time is, it looks like this. It's essentially a 3x3 three three with 5x5 five five centers, so it's like a 5x5 five five with some pieces omitted. So then this is just a shape mod of that into an axis cube. So you can do stuff like that. And then over here. Yeah, so I'm not gonna scramble this now. Yeah, yeah, I can see this being a really challenging solve. So now, onto the GAN Air SM. So, it has been a really, really long time since I got a new 3x3 main. This Yuxiao has been my main since May of 2016. So that's like about a year and three quarters about that I've used this as my main. I tend, if you don't know, I tend to keep mains for a really long time. Out of the uh, ten puzzles, two through seven, and then Pura, Mega, Scube, Squan, uh, only two of them, I've only replaced two mains in the past year, and the eight other puzzles have all been my mains for more than a year. So yeah, I keep mains for a really long time. This Yuxiao isn't magnetic, so yeah, this- I still don't use a magnetic cube up until this. I just- I- I never felt magnets were necessary. I guess let's just open it up. So, this, I know, has the, uh, GES nuts in it, and... I think something else? Oh, here, here, here. So this is like the, uh, credit card type thing that you get with it. What else is in here? Okay, the GES nuts. And then what is this? Here's the GES nuts. I don't know which is which. Let's open this up. 
This is smaller than I imagined, this GES container. I've heard a lot of people say in unboxings that they don't like the GES containers. They're really hard to open, and when you open them, uh, the they all go flying all over the place. Let's just get into the actual cube. This is like the by far the most premium unboxing experience I've ever had with the Twisty Puzzle. So how does this open? Is it... Th oh, there. Okay. Oh, this... This is a nice box. I'm gonna keep this box. Okay, so then here's the puzzle. Oh, it has... This red. This is an extremely bright red. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these shades on it or not. Or if I'll replace it. I've heard this cube is super fast out of the box. Tensions? I guess kind of medium tensions and... Yeah, yeah, blue GES nuts. Okay, so I guess I I'm gonna briefly explain how the GES nuts work if you don't know what that is. Um, So, GAN cubes have uh, seven different colors and each color is a different spring tension. So, um... Uh, like, red is like a really heavy, tight spring, and purple's a really soft, flexible spring. Blue is next to purple in the second most flexible. So, uh, let's do first turns on this. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I can turn for last layer, like, I can turn super fast. This is gonna be really nice for last layer when I'm just trying to turn as fast as I possibly can. When I, like, last layer when I don't care about look ahead or anything like that. I'm gonna play around with this for a while. I'm going to have to try all the GES nuts at some point, although that seems like a pretty daunting thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like this. I, I like this a lot. Should we try corner cutting? Okay, fine. I know someone's going to want to. It's 2018, though. Come on. Yeah, okay. Corner cutting, as expected, is way better than it needs to be. But, yeah, that's just a given these days. Alright, I'm gonna play around with this for a bit, and then come back to you. So, it's been a long time. I unboxed these puzzles, like, a month ago, but I was busy working on other videos. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna tell you what I think of these puzzles now. So I'm gonna start with this one, the Axis Wheel of Time. These big layers turn really well, really smooth, really easy to turn. The wheels don't. They've gotten better now, but like, they still, they, they don't turn well. They're, they're just hard to turn. They catch a lot. Uh, I've solved this puzzle maybe about three or four times now. It's a decently challenging solve. It's not incredibly hard, though. And, yeah, it's it, I enjoy it. It's kind of tedious, because like you have to do all the wheels separately, and it's kind of repetitive. But I do enjoy the solve. It looks pretty crazy when it's scrambled. <laughs> it's like the kind of puzzle that would really intimidate non-cubers. But, yeah, overall... Outer layers turn well, wheels don't, uh, hard but not crazy hard puzzle, somewhat fun to solve. I would recommend this to people who like longer non-WCA, more challenging solves. Uh, now for the GAN Air SM, has become my main, as I knew it would. I decided to go with the green GES nuts after trying all of them out. Uh, green is slightly on the lighter side. The performance of this cube is awesome. Magnets are a bit stronger than I would prefer them, but I mean, maybe that's just because like I'm this is my first magnetic 3x3 that I use as my main. Uh, maybe I'll get more used to it over time, and I have gotten used to it over the month that I've used this puzzle. Corner twisting? I just got my first corner twist on this puzzle today, so I was gonna say that there's no corner twisting, but I mean, I've, if I had it for a month and I've only gotten one corner twist, it's not a big issue then. The way I set this puzzle up was green GES nuts to the tension where it's like the- if you have a Gans puzzle, you'll know what I mean. Uh, it's like the, where the screw is flush with the nut. 
uh, like that tension, and then I did not lubricate the core, and I lubricated the pieces with lubricable silk. The day after I got this cube, and I was experimenting with like different setups, I got my PB single 1184 on this. So yeah, that that was cool. So I, I was just thinking back to like when I first got the Yushao, how long ago that was, and how much has changed since then. Cause like. I've advanced so much in cubing over the course of me using this as my main. So I remember like almost two years ago when I got this, uh, shortly after that I was like riding in a car and uh, I was solving 3x3 and I came to this like uh, intersection that's kind of by my house and I go to every once in a while for like going certain places and um this was like almost two years ago, or like a year and a half ago. I got a 16 second solve, which at the time was like super awesome. It wasn't my PB, but it was pretty close. And I, I got like really happy. <laughs> and then the day I unboxed this, the last day of this being my main, like earlier that day, I came to that exact same intersection and got another 16. And that just made me think back like, I've gone through so much with this cube. But, yeah, okay, so this is my main now, but, yeah, I'm probably gonna go through a lot with this. This is probably gonna be my main for a long time, too. So that concludes it for this video. My next video will most likely be, um, mains and times and PBs and averages and whatever, stuff like that video. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned... I mentioned that in my uh, Becoming Sub 20 video, that now I could make that. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this unboxing video. See you in that video. Bye.